What I consider my primary role is delivering good patient care. That first and foremost is really what drives the work that I do. I um, serve as the assistant chair for clinical research. Part of that is mentoring uh, junior faculty members, residents, medical students, with an emphasis on health services research and imaging and comparative effectiveness in diagnostic testing. That has um, in part evolved and broadened uh, to include a program for comparative effectiveness research in imaging, uh, the PITCHER program. There, again, the goal is to do, uh, to, to produce high level evidence that can help us make coverage decisions and policy decisions about how we include uh, novel imaging technologies within clinical practice. What always appealed to me when I was a medical student was the power of the image. Diagnostic imaging is often working through a puzzle. We have patient symptoms, we have laboratory data, we have imaging data, and now we have genomic data. How do we put that together and then figure out what to do next to help the patient achieve whatever it is that he or she wants to achieve? I also really dislike inefficiency in a system and that really led me to examine how we deliver care and how can we maximize uh, the outcomes that we have for the limited resources that we have. The work that I'm doing most currently is uh, trying to understand what the drivers are of healthcare utilization, particularly with regard to uh, imaging-based screening. For example, screening mammography, or lung cancer screening. In our current climate, one of the biggest challenges is uncertainty. Uncertainty in coverage, uncertainty in how we should provide care. This is an opportunity for individuals who work in this field to lead and also for IHPI to serve as a beacon that just because things look uncertain right now doesn't mean that there isn't another side. And in fact, this type of uncertainty that we're going through is, I believe, truly necessary in order to create the healthcare system that we would all want and benefit from. IHPI is both a physical and a virtual community. Research can often be a siloed field. So IHPI has facilitated research collaboration by, if not breaking down walls of the silos, poking holes large enough for people to walk through and collaborate. People who work in um, very similar spaces, perhaps uh, evaluating different sets of questions can accidentally, on purpose, come together uh, and discover their shared interests and potentially um, result in a new collaboration. I believe that that is what really differentiates IHPI. I think in one year we will continue to struggle a little bit around implementation of the ACA. I am hopeful that the next presidential administration uh, will continue the, the work that has started rather than challenging the ACA in a variety of uh, uh, venues. Longer into the future, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, um, I would hope to look back and say what we did there was a good thing. It allowed us to take care of as many people as possible uh, within the constraints of the system that we have and the care that we gave uh, was the care that patients needed at the time that they needed it. It doesn't necessarily mean doing more, but it means doing the right thing at the right time for the right person. Mm -hmm.